Warning, this video may contain traces of nuts. Electronic Superjoy is one of those really hard, hardcore platformers, which requires swiftness, precision and perfect timing of your every move. Kinda like Super Meat Boy does, but the controls here are much more tighter and you don't gain momentum when you run around. The graphics style has this silhouette pixely thing to the characters and the environment, though the background has this vector-like shapes. But the strongest part of the game lies in its soundtrack. And it's oh damn good! If you haven't noticed the title of the game, it's all electronical. Okay, man up. Before I get sued and my channel is suspended. According to the story, you lost an arm, both legs, and your whole butt. And you're trying to get revenge for your butt. What do you mean the story sucks? It was written in the middle of the night. It's minimal, sure. But it's still better than any Call of Duty. Whoa! Hold it! Are these... arms? And legs? But I was told to believe their character has none of that. Till dear. The story is a lying sack of shit. The levels are well designed, challenging, gradually throwing new stuff at you, varying up the rules from time to time, like tilting, turning the level 90 degrees, only scrolling the screen in one direction... There's a variety of enemies and hazards in the game, such as bugs, bigger floaty bugs, angry spaceships from asteroids, frogs, shooting shurikens out of their mouth? What? I don't even know. The game feels balanced and fair until you get to this level. I think this level might have been spawned by the Satan himself. This level made me want to smash my keyboard. I think it took me an hour to beat this one level. I mean, just look at this. There are so many angry triangles trying to murder you, and they never stop coming. You cannot outrun them. They're just barely faster than you are, and by the time you kill one, two more spawn. The only method is to try and dodge them and keep as far to the right side of the screen as possible, waiting for the level exit to slowly creep in. The difficulty of spike on this one is just... Ugh. Thankfully, the game gives you superpowers, such as Stomp, which lets you kill enemies. There's also run-of-the-mill double fart and, of course, flying powers. You can't seem to have more than one power at a time, and it varies what powers you have in which levels. The game has four worlds, each having their respective boss battle. In the first boss battle, you're fighting the poop. I'm sorry, a uh, pope in a spaceship. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's just a pope in a spaceship. Pope in a spaceship. That's it. Fuck this. I'm out. But hey, should have seen this coming, huh? The battle consists out of three phases. The first one climbing up and catching up with the Pope. The second one shooting him out of your own spaceship. And finally, shooting rainbow shots at his ass while avoiding rockets. After that, you get to stump the Pope. Wait, I... I murdered the Pope? Oh my god, what have I done? I will forever burn in the depths of... Oh wait, I don't care. Moving on. 
The second boss is just running for your dear life while Godzilla chases you. The third boss? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't get him. I got stuck on one level in World 3 and I can't just... Uh. There. I beat the game. I'm done.